What is up guys, Jeremy here and welcome back to another video. So we got a lot to talk about in terms of the iOS 10 jailbreak demo video, which I'm sure most of you has, have seen by now. Uh, so I wanted to cover, you know, a bunch of stuff in this video, my opinion on stuff, give you guys all the information I know, and uh, just talk about it basically. So if you guys remember a couple of days ago, I covered this video right here, iOS 10.1 jailbreak demo with substrate as you guys can see here this was uploaded by i jappy ja zero zero um and i discovered this video on twitter and obviously it was posted here on youtube the only two videos this guy has is of that demo at the time it was just that one video he does have another demo out now we'll talk about that here uh later in this video but first off you know the only video he had was this demo video uh also it's good to note that this I Jappy Jaw is also a tweak creator. He does have some tweaks with Insidia as well. Uh, so that's good to note. So, uh, you know, with the iOS 10.1 jailbreak demo, uh, if you watch the video, it's very, very believable, but there's also some things in the video that kind of red flag that it could be fake. Uh, one being is the only application he has in the dock is Safari. Also, he doesn't really show any system applications on it. He just shows uh, Cydia and then the JB app, which is, you know, the app that actually puts his device into the jailbreak mode. It's very similar to, uh, you know, the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak uh, by Pangu, where you go into the Pangu app to basically enable the jailbreak. Uh, but the video just lacks, you know, some things that kind of red flag it. There's nothing in the video that proves that it's fake or real really uh it, it just lacks some stuff but uh one thing good to note about this demo video is the description that ijappy jaw filled out so in the description he has uh three reasons why he is not going to publicly release the jailbreak pretty much uh one being that you know he's just a single developer he's not a team it's pretty much almost impossible for just one individual to do a public release of a jailbreak uh, just because there's going to be a lot of support needed, you know, to manage that. Also, you know, if he had a website, the website is going to get just basically bashed with a lot, a lot, a lot of traffic uh, if he were to do. It's just not possible for one person to do it, sort of say, which makes sense. I mean, that's totally believable. Uh, but another reason why he is not going to publicly release a jailbreak, and he kind of uh, emphasized that this is the main reason as well, which is kind of weird, is that he had to heavily patch Substrate in order for it to work with the jailbreak. Uh, so basically, what does that mean? What is heavily patching Substrate? What does that mean? And why, why would he not be able to release the jailbreak because of it? Okay, well, Substrate is basically, you know, a bunch of code, Okay. Uh, and think of it in terms of like copyright. So he did not write Substrate, but he went in and altered uh, the code within Substrate. So he can't, you know, physically release that because it's it's basically been altered. Let's say, you know, uh, it's it's like kind of the same thing as copyright, basically. So you can't really alter something and then, you know, sell it, even though it's not going to be sold. Uh, he's just releasing it. Still, it's kind of like copyright or ownership of the code. Uh, so that's where things get really, really interesting. So the creator of Cydia, uh, Jay Freeman, or Sorek, uh, you guys have probably seen his name in the header of Cydia. Uh, yes, he is the creator of Cydia. And he's also the creator of Substrate. So that's where we get some interesting information here on Reddit. So uh, as you can see, this post is uh, from Sorek right here. I'll leave a link for this down in the description. Uh, but Sorek or Jay Freeman, uh, basically got into contact with iJappy Jaw, the guy that demoed the iOS 10.1 jailbreak. So he gets into contact with the guy. And basically what he's trying to do is get the information out of him uh, of what is wrong with Substrate so that that way Sorek himself can go into Substrate and basically patch it himself, which is totally legit because he's actually the creator of, of Substrate. So that would leave it, you know, plausible to be released to the public which would make sense of course if you're sark you're going to want to reach out to this guy and be like okay well uh if you do have a legit jailbreak and you had to patch um substrate what did you have to patch i can do it and 
and we're all good to release it, you know, makes sense, right? So uh, as you guys can see, this is a very long post. I'd recommend you guys to check it out yourselves, read through it if you're interested in this kind of stuff. But uh, basically, uh, he's talking to iJappy Jaw and iJappy Jaw's giving him a runaround from what it sounds like. Uh, he's not giving Sorek the information he needs uh, in order to fix Substrate. So that kind of starts to lead him to believe that, of course, this is a fake. Uh, or he's trying to troll him, you know, it's not a real demo video. Uh, it, and that just gets really weird and basically it goes on to Sork, you know, is calling him out and saying that this is a fake, basically. Uh, which would make sense, you know, you're trying to get information. If you want Substrate fixed, the creator of Substrate itself is talking to you. So if you really do have a legit jailbreak, then yeah, just give him the information and he'll fix it. Makes sense, right? Yeah, kind of does. But also, on the other hand, just because, you know, he does have a jailbreak, he might not care about publicly releasing it himself uh, just because he's not going to be able to do it. And, you know, it's not like you can just call up Pangu and be like, hey, I got, a uh, you know, an exploit. Uh, want to buy it from me you know it's not that easy to get a hold of you know uh, hackers like that you know it's just not a thing so I mean yes it's kind of being discredited as a fake from Sorek himself but the reason why it's being called fake is because he just can't get information out of this guy there's nothing in these demo videos that is showing that it's fake I mean the videos look real there's like I said there's nothing in them that shows uh, that it's fake. So we're kind of in an area right now where it's just kind of weird. Yes, it could be fake. Yes, it could be real. Who knows what, you know, the messages are that are being sent between these two. It's hard to say. Uh, but as you guys can see, uh, a couple of days ago, um, iJappyJaw has uploaded another video, another demo video of the iOS 10.2 beta 1 jailbreak. And this also has Cydia Substrate uh, demoed in it and also code injection as well. And that's where things get interesting. So right now, I'll just say uh, from what I see and my thoughts on this is I think that, yes, this guy could have made a jailbreak. These could be legit videos of an actual jailbreak on these versions of iOS. I'm not going to say, no, they're fake. Uh, it's just my opinion. Uh, so let's take a look at the iOS 10.2 beta 1 jailbreak demo. And I'll just kind of give you guys my thoughts as we go. And I'll just skip through it. So first off, it starts out in Cydia. He shows a package in Cydia. As you can say, he's the actual creator or the author of this package. So like I said, he does create stuff for Cydia. Uh, so he just shows it. He shows where that package will be installed on his device. Also, he opens up Control Center. He uses the toggles within Control Center uh, to show that it, it is interactive. It's not just a static image. He also clicks on night shift, showing that it is interactive, shows the pop-up, you know, uh, notification. We'll keep on skipping here. He also opens up notification center and shows that it is iOS 10. Uh, it does have the iOS 10 widgets. We'll skip forward some more here. He also installs this package. As you can see, uh, it does, you know, just as it normally would within Cydia, installs the package and he's able to back out once it's done. Uh, and then next here, he goes to his home screen. He also opens up a folder on the home screen to show that the folders work. Uh, as you can see right from the home screen, it's a lot different than the first video that he published. Uh, he actually shows you know, the system applications. He has a created folder. Uh, he also goes to open up Spotlight Search and then he opens up the emoji keyboard to show that it is iOS 10.2 because you do have the new clown emoji right there. So it does have the new emojis. Uh, and then he goes into the settings application. He shows that, uh, you know, this is an iPhone 7. It does have the, uh, the home button settings, as you guys can see. He goes into the wallpapers, shows the iOS 10.2 wallpapers. He actually changes the wallpaper. He exit, exits out of uh, the settings app to the home screen to show, you know, the wallpaper has been changed. And he also shows the second page of his home screen. You got the rest of the system applications. You got Cydia. You got Terminal. And then you do have this app called JB App, which would be Jailbreak App, like I mentioned earlier in this video. Uh, I'm assuming that this jailbreak would be 
pretty much the same thing as the iOS 9.3.3 jailbreak where you open up the application, click the button, and it goes through its process of uh, putting your device into jailbreak mode, basically. So next, he opens up Terminal, and he does, as the title of the video says, he does some code injection. I'm not a coder, so I can't really read any of the stuff he does, but from what I've heard is he basically stashes his device with Terminal. And this is a major part of the video. It takes most of the video, as you guys can see. Uh, he exits out of terminal, he goes into notes, and then he uses some of the emoji in notes, and this is iOS 10.2 emojis, as you guys can see. And then he goes back in the terminal, and then he unstashes his device, or at least that's what I've heard, because like I said, I can't actually read coding. Uh, but that's the video, and in my opinion, you know, if this is a fake video, this is a really, really good fake. Uh, because there's nothing really in this video that would suggest that it is a fake uh, you know, it's just basically your opinion on it. What do you think? Uh, and that's, you know, where I'm kind of at. I'm staying optimistic about this. Um, you know, I'm not gonna be negative about it. Uh, it does suck that, you know, Sorek himself tried to contact this guy and it didn't go very well. Uh, and that Sorek's calling it as fake. But I mean, also you gotta just look at the videos yourself. Uh, it could be, you know, it could be real. It could be fake, but that's my opinion on it, guys. Uh, hopefully, you know, this is a legit jailbreak and what I would recommend for iJappyJaw00, if you really do have a jailbreak, figure out a way to get in contact with Pangu or Taiji or anybody that is capable of publicly releasing this jailbreak and then also, you know, somehow figure out a way that will give you credit for this jailbreak since that's really what he wants. You know, he's uploading these demo videos because he wants credit for this jailbreak. Well, let's try and get it to the next step where it's publicly released. That's the best credit you can get for it. Uh, so that's gonna be pretty much it for this video, guys. I'll leave the links for all this stuff you guys seen in the description below. I'll leave the Reddit link, also the link to his uh, channel here where you can check out these jailbreak videos yourself. So you can see them yourself and give your own opinion of it. Uh, but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, I know it's a longer video, but I wanted to cover everything and give you all the information I have and also my opinion. But if you enjoyed it, definitely throw me a thumbs up. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.